This man right here is my breath. He is my life. He is speaking to everything that I believe in and understand and follow. Bravo. Bravo, man. Bravo. I've been trying to say this same stuff. But people be trying to listen to me. So I encourage everybody to go to his video. Follow this fool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't call him a fool because I love him. He done said everything he needed to say. After Joe Biden called the black people a monolith and that if you don't vote Democrat, you ain't black, that is some bull hockey. He says he's independent. I know good and dang well I'm libertarian. <laughs> Point blank and period. But I will say I will vote independently because there are some good Democrats and there are some good Republicans. I have conservative views. I have liberal views. Why are you trying to pigeonhole people into one little goddamn box? Nobody is a monolith. Nobody thinks the same way, period. He says it all. I don't even need to recant what, the, what he said because he just says it all. And it's exactly how I feel. I, I am a bisexual female and I have three boys. I like men and I like women. There are days when I wish that the man in my life would just go kick rocks. And I wish I could be in a polyandrous relationship with a man and a woman and be my truest self. But that's hard to do. I enjoy being a mother. I have feminine tendencies and I have masculine tendencies. So what? But this is getting ridiculous. Look at this mess. All this crap underneath here. Tulsi Gabbard, she has some serious stuff going on. She was running Democrat, but she should be a libertarian. I know why she didn't do it. Because don't nobody want to pay attention to libertarians. Don't a single person want to listen to the Tea Party. Don't a single person want to listen to anybody in the Green Party. You got Democrats on the stage that are repping the Green Party, the Tea Party, the Socialists of America. But they are forced to be under the Democratic tent, which is way too damn big. And voices are not being heard. <laughs> yeah, voices are not being heard. They're being flat out fucking ignored. And this this country is going to hell in a handbasket. I'm going to tell you like I told my sister. The trumpets have sounded. Donald Trump and Mike Pence have made their intentions known. We are up against Biden. And it needs to stop. You don't want another four years of Trump? I sure as hell don't. I'm a patriot. I'm conservative. I get it. I know why he was voted in. I understand thoroughly. He was different. He's not a politician. Cool. No, I didn't vote for him. <laughs> but understand why he was voted for. People are saying that they're sick and tired of the Democratic-Republican bull hockey. <laughs> So, why don't we really tell them that we're sick of it and vote third party? Don't give me a stupid excuse. <laughs> oh, they're not viable. They're only 5% of the vote. You do realize that the only reason why they're 5% of the vote is because your behind, who knows what they're saying is true, ain't voting for them. Vote for them. <laughs> vote for them. My son just emptied out an entire bag of chips on my bed. That's why I can't post regularly. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, vote for them. Stop making excuses. Don't give me no victim. Vote for them. Y'all want to be protesting in the streets? Okay, well, vote test at the ballot box. You scared about mail-in voting? Go down to your election, board of elections, and vote in person. You have a smartphone in your hand. Use it. <laughs> ask Google. Ask Siri. Ask whoever the hell it is, your AI. 
How can I vote in person? Early. Get off me, little boy. Go do it. I, I fully intend to do so. I'm telling you, enough is enough. They need to go. I'm tired of being manipulated. I'm tired of being lied to. Walk away. <laughs>